I don't love baseball cards. Got him, got him, need him, got him, got him, got him, need him, got him, need him, need him, got him, get him, got him, got him, need him. Welcome back to another episode of Remember the Great Sport. Um, today I am going to share with you another antique mall flea market pickup, but we're just going to focus on one item today. And if you saw the picture, you'll know what I'm talking about, and that is the da, 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 the Sports Talk baseball card player. And unfortunately, I do not have any batteries hooked up to it at the moment. I may shoot another video just playing with it. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But to scan up for the big reveal, Ta-da! Okay, now here's the cool story about this. The reason I chose to show this box was check this out. Awesome sticker. KB recommends alkaline batteries. How cool was that? It still has the original KB Toys sticker on there. So, let me kind of show you the outside of the box first. And I actually have four of these players, believe it or not. And over the years, I've been able to amass these through various yard sales. And let me zoom out a tad here. But just most recently, I picked this copy up. See, so yeah, I got two of them here. I picked up the bottom copy still mint sealed well it's not sealed but still in the box complete the box has a little visual wear on it 10 bucks I found this in its entirety for ten dollars at a flea market I'm going to show you a little bit of the box, but we're going to cut this up with a few segments where I'll open the box. I'm not going to do it on camera, and I'll show you the contents. Then I will go through some of these cool packets, still sealed, that I picked up many years ago, as well as show you a small stack of my collection of open cards. So. We're just going to talk about the box and the details, then we'll get down to the nitty gritty here in a minute. So, I'm going to zoom in the best I can, and there you can see all the players that are featured in the set. Then it looks like there's 33 superstars, like Legend, Hall of Famers, you know, Ty Cobb, Hank Aaron, etc. Then there's Great Games, the World Series, then 122 current players from, I guess, about the 1989-90 season. Now the interesting thing is, coming soon, NFL talking cards. If you got any of those out there, comment. I'd love to see those. I don't know if these even actually exist. Obviously, these aren't super scarce. I own four of them. So it's not hard to get your hands on a complete set of these. So... Uh, I'm just going to pause for a second here. I'm going to open this brand new box up and show you the contents and show you what it should look like when it's brand new. Alright, so this is what it comes in. A big piece of styrofoam is inside that box. And when you remove the first cover of styrofoam, this is what you should see. Sorry about the blurriness there. As you can see, the player is still wrapped in its entirety. You have a pack of sealed cards that should come in there. Then there is a piece of cloth, which who cares. Then you have the baseball talk, how to play, and order form checklist. And I believe this is another order form. So if you're a completionist, I know there are some people that want to collect things in their entirety just like they came off the assembly line. This is what you need to look for, okay? If you're missing any of those parts, 
okay? It's not truly complete if you're a completionist. Now, some people may not care about that. They just want the player. So we're going to put that one to the side, and I'm going to show you the contents of this box. And as you can see, this one, also the player is brand new, never been touched. Because if it, it wouldn't have that sticker on there. But unfortunately, somebody got into the cards, and we'll show you those in a second. And it looks like everything else is here that needs to be here too. So this, this could pass as a sealed copy, although the cards aren't truly sealed. So this is the starter deck that comes in there, okay? Earl Hershiser, Don Mattingly, a checklist card, and Hank Aaron. So you only get three of them right off the bat in a checklist. So those should be the three parts that you have, and then there's instructions on how to put them on the player, and we'll get to that in a second. So give me a time to break here, and we will kind of look at the cards and the player, but I'm not going to open these up because I have a couple other players that are already open. All right, sorry about the little break there. I just wanted to uh, get things a little organized so I wasn't opening and showing you things uh, all over the uh, camera here. You know, I just thought I'd edit that part out. But here is a used player, okay? And I do not have batteries in it at the time. And again, this video is not about showcasing the player itself. I don't even know if this works, to be honest with you. Uh, I have four players in my possession, two of which are used and two of which are still sealed in the box. And how I came across these was the first one that I bought came in the box just like this and it was open and I paid under 20 bucks. I mean, it, it came with some cards and I, I didn't pay much for it. So I brought it home. I want to say that I put some batteries in it and I played with it and the thing sure enough fired up and it played. Now to get it to play what you are supposed to do is you open up the case like so and you take one of your cards and we're going to use Earl Hershiser here because that's the one that comes in the box and if you see these little type almost striations like almost like a record and you place it on the player like so and there's almost like a magnetism to it and then the idea is, is you close the player and you fire it up here on the side and off it goes and it, and it plays um, baseball highlights from the player on the card you might actually hear somebody like Earl Hershiser talking talking about you know how he pitched a game and how he won it or you know appeared in the World Series or whatever and that's what this is and again if you guys want me to hook this up and see if it works shoot me a comment below and we'll do that sometime but I just wanted to show you the player and how the concept conceptually works now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the cards that I've acquired throughout the years and the funny thing is about this player my wife absolutely hates it when I find these things. And if you remember from my other video with my talking baseball thing, uh, when I walked in with my talking baseball item that I found at a flea market, her first thing is, is you already have a talking baseball thing you never use. And she was referring to this. She was referring to the sports talk player that I never use. So my wife was with me when I actually found this last player this brand new one and she's like I knew you were gonna buy that when I saw it on the shelf she was with me at the antique mall and I said dear it was ten bucks how could I pass up ten dollars for a mint almost mint condition collector's item from the 80s and from my childhood I mean I don't know if you saw these as a kid the commercial uh, I don't know if I can find the commercial if I do I'll put it in the description below but I remember seeing these and thinking these were the most awesomest pieces of baseball memorabilia you could ever own. I would dream, 
I would save up my money. I would do whatever I had to do, mow grasses, rake leaves, whatever, to have one of these things. And it wasn't until I was in my mid-20s at a garage sale that I finally bought one. But I could imagine the time that I would have had having this if I was a kid. And I just featured, as you can see, some of the cards, you know, that are pretty nice. Now, this stack of cards came just like this. Um, I bought these along with the player for a reasonable price. I want to say 20 bucks for probably this player here. And, you know, it was 20 bucks with all of these cards plus the cards that you see in the background there. I'm having a little trouble getting that out. But, um, the cards all came in these oversized card savers. So, for like 20 bucks, I figured getting a stack of these card savers was worth that without anything in them so I got it for relatively cheap I'll just kind of hold them up to the screen here and sh show them off to you really fast here and hope I don't mess up the camera but you saw the Oral Hershizer so I'm just gonna lay that down maybe we'll pan down a little bit so we can lay them down as we go there's a Henry Aaron that came with the game there's a Harold Reynolds Here's an Al Kaline. Here's a Kevin Mitchell. A Steve Bedrogian. A Tom Hankey. A Billy Williams reprint rookie. Don Maddenly that came with the game. A Chili Davis. One of my favorites, Jack Clark as a Yankee. Not a Cardinal, like a more as a Cardinal, obviously. Roger McDowell. Fernando Mania. Fernando Valenzuela. Roger Craig, the great uh, pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers back in the day, and manager of the Giants. And it appears the checklist card is there as well, along with some um, various checklists there. So, pretty cool to get those, you know, along with that player for like 20 bucks. Now, this next group of cards, I actually got a heck of a deal on. And I don't even remember how much I paid for these, but it had to have been under 20 bucks. It was not, it was not anywhere near, whoa, whoa, wait a second. I may have a receipt in here, believe it or not. Hang on one second. Yep, okay. Now this next set of cards that I bought, I'm going to show you what I paid. This is pretty cool, and I picked these up off eBay for like next to nothing. But this was what year? Hang on one second. 2015. So in 2015, this is what I found on eBay. And I found a 20 count lot of sealed cards for $22.50. And to show you what I'm talking about, this is really awesome. It comes in the original box from LJN. And inside, are 20 unopened packs of Sports Talks cards. In other words, I'm going to pull them out here and show them to you. And I didn't know which ones I was buying. I think it was just a random lot. But this is what you would have saw hanging on the rack next to the player at KB Toys at Walmart, at wherever. In each one of these sets, if you saw the order form inside the box there a few minutes ago, came with four, and it lists the players down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go through these. We've got Frank Viola, Robin Roberts, and Galarraga, and Fred Lynn. We've got set 39, Rock Reigns, Drysdale, Myers, and Whitaker. 
set 38, we got Andy Van Slyke, sorry about that, Doug Jones, Kevin Seitzer, and Roberto Clemente. Set 37, we've got Charlie Huff, Steve Carlton, Mike Greenwell, and Andre Dawson. Set 36, we got Cal Ripken, Ralph Kiner, Tom Hankey, and Kevin Mitchell. There's the Ripken behind you. <laughs> Set 35, there you go, Carter's kids. Gary Carter, Hank Aaron again, Tim Wallach, and Frank Tanana. Set 34 has got Carlton Fisk, Pete Rose, Dave Parker, and Rick Sutcliffe. Set 33 has got Pedro Guerrero, Carl Yostremski, Bob Welch, and Sparky Anderson. Set 32, Dave Rigetti, Eddie Matthews, Bobby Bonilla, and Brett Butler. Set 31, we got Mike Schmidt, Whitey Ford, Oda B. McDowell, and Todd Worrell. Set 30, we got John Tudor, Duke Snyder, Jim Rice, and Paul Molitor. Set 29, we got Nolan Ryan, Willie McCovey, Bruce Hurst, and Tom Bernanski. I bet it'd be neat to listen to Nolan Ryan's. I mean, just imagine his career. <laughs> We got Ryan Sandberg, Joe L. Morgan, Ron Guidry, and Kent Herbeck, set 28. Set 27, we got Jack Morris, Stan Musial, Dwight Evans, and Gerald Perry. Set 26, we got Kirk Gibson, Lou Brock, Mike Flanagan, and Ozzie Gian. Set 25, we got Dale Murphy, Rod Carew, Danny Jackson, and Benito Santiago. Set 24, we got Jack Clark, Barry Bonds, Steve Bedrogi, and an Al Kaline. So there's that pack that I showed you a little bit ago. We have all those. And set 23 has got Mark McGuire, Bob Gibson, Bruce Suter, and Tony Fernandez. Set 22 has got a Dwight Gooden, a Ty Cobb, a Joe Carter, and a John Crook. Set 21 has got Tony Gwynn, Lou Gehrig, Carney Lansford, and Lee Smith. There's another set 21, so that's a duplicate. There's another set 35, Carter's Kids. We interested? Let me know, my friend. I got an extra. Might be something we can work out, and it's even got the original price tag on it. Check that out, my friend. And this one doesn't set 14, so we're skipping around a little bit, it looks like. There's Johnny Bench, Ricky Henderson, Burt Blavlevin, and Candy Maldonado. Set 32 is a duplicate again. We already saw that one. I'm a little blurry there, so let's get back in focus. And then there's another duplicate Nolan Ryan one. And there's another duplicate 34 with Carlton Fisk. And another duplicate with Mark McGuire. So I have a solid run of sets 40 to 21. And for some reason I have 14. I don't know how I came across that then I obviously have some duplicate ones. So all I have to say is, is how cool are these guys? I mean, still to have these sealed, just like they came off the assembly line in 1989. I mean, could you imagine going into a KB store and seeing this hanging on the shelf? I mean, would that not bring back for the older collectors around my age, would that not bring back the nostalgia? Just Could you imagine this hanging on the rack and just going through each one of these? You know, like like trying to go through it like this and you know, slide it like that, slide it like that. I mean, could you not see yourself doing that? I mean, I would. 
I remember doing stuff like that. But you know, these these were are so cool. I mean, I, I pretty much probably talked myself into this. I'm going to try to see if either of my older players will still work. Um, if I have to, I'm going to break the seal on one of my brand new players and get it to work since I have two of them. I just, I just, I just want to sit down and play with this. And I don't think I'm going to open any of these up because I feel the value of these in the sealed clamshell is way more than you ever could sell them individually. So I'm going to probably keep these sealed forever. Uh, I might be open to offers if you guys would like some of the duplicate ones. I really would like to trade for other ones if you have them. I mean, some that I don't have, that would be one way to get these. But if you're like a Nolan Ryan collector, why wouldn't you want that in your collection? You know, so I might sit down and play with these. You know, let me let me know, you, you know, what you guys think. I mean, I know this is only for a certain audience. Some of the younger viewers may think these are completely stupid and barbaric and, you know, something that a child would play with back in the 80s. And I close this with, I was a child of the 80s, and I would have played with this. The thing that some of the younger viewers don't understand, my nephews who have a YouTube channel that actually helped me inspire do this, you know, to do this channel, and you guys know who you are, <laughs> um, you guys would probably be bored to death with something like this. But you have to understand when I was your age, when I was, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old, the internet didn't exist. Cable TV barely existed, and I grew up in the rural country. Cable wasn't even an option. You stuck your, t you know, your television thing up in the air, and the five channels that you got, that's what you got. And TV was not anywhere near what it is now, where you have 200 channels, and you can, you know, half those channels you don't even need. You had four, four channels, so. Being able to go in your room at night with some, you know, batteries with this player and being able to listen to game highlights and to listen to baseball players discuss their on-field performances, I couldn't imagine that, you know. And that's why I'm going to hook this thing up and we're going to listen to this sometime. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you guys think. Ten bucks, brand new, for that for that player. Brand new, sealed in the box. The box has a few cosmetic errors, but you know that's okay with me because everything is still sealed. Would you guys buy this for ten bucks? That's all I'm throwing out there. Um, obviously, these clamshell cards. I paid over twenty dollars for the whole stack. I mean, if you look at the stack here, that's less than a buck. That's less than a buck a piece. And to have these for less than a buck a piece, and these are, you know, almost 30 years old. Still in the condition like they could go on the shelf today if you wanted to buy them. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is, you know, something, I bought these clamshells off of eBay, so I'm not going to act like these were bought in some dingy old garage sale or you know, antique mall that I go to, I bought these on eBay, these clamshells. Now the players, on the other hand, the, the two brand new ones that I showed you, I actually found in flea markets. Now the second player that I showed you that's open, I believe came, again off of eBay, with these cards in the oversized top loaders, or the soft loaders, whatever you want to call those. So I bought these and the cards off of eBay, but the players, the brand new players, I actually found in the flesh at a flea market and got them for $15 or less. I mean, I know I paid 10 for the most recent, but I know I won't pay over 15 a piece for them, uh, being that I own four players. So I might, like I said, pull this apart. It looks like it uh, comes apart somehow. I don't want to break it, but... I'm going to have to pop this open and see what kind of batteries it takes. The only uh, thing that I do know is my first player that I bought, I basically broke because I left the batteries in there. And that's the thing, if you ever are going to buy a used one of these, okay, 
you need to seriously consider that if the batteries are in here, because this is not easy to pop on and off, okay? You have to, you know, get a screwdriver or something to pop that off. So imagine if a kid owned this, okay, they're going to leave the batteries in there. And you might have batteries in there from 1991, okay? And if those batteries are still in the player in 2018, I can guarantee you that the corrosion from the battery acid has ruined your player. And that's what happened to my first player. And that's why I bought these brand new. When I saw these brand new, I'm like, well, they've never been used, so I know there's no battery corrosion. Now this one I bought used, and for all I know, there could be batteries in here. I didn't bother to even look, and the corrosion process has already ruined this player. So again, I might open up one of these new ones and do it and take care of it myself. But once you get that battery acid in there, you're pretty much done with your electronic devices. So um, I hope you guys like this one. This one's a little bit different. Uh, I know I talk quite a bit about this, but being that this is such an important, important item in our life, I think this is an important one to have, you know, a whole video dedicated to. So I hope you enjoyed watching my collection. Uh, I look forward to seeing your comments below and stay tuned for future episodes of Flea Market Pickups. Thanks.